Hey guys, it's me, Samara. And I'm Brandon. And welcome back to the Adventure Academy Science Fair. Hey, Samara, I've had a question that's really been bothering me. What's that, oh, puzzled one? I was reading about in an article how a scientist in the late 1500s by the name of Galileo, cool name, said that if two objects dropped, one heavy and one light, that gravity would pull them down at the same exact speed. That's correct. But what's got me confused is this. If I drop the rock and the feather at the exact same time, the rock always falls faster. So how could Galileo have been right? Ah, I see. The thing is, when you drop things here on Earth, gravity isn't the only force acting on them. While the force of gravity is pulling them down, the air below them is pushing them up. Scientists call this force air resistance. And back in 1971, astronaut David Scott did the experiment on the moon by dropping a feather and his rock hammer. Since the moon has no air, the feather and the hammer hit the ground at the same time even though the hammer was much heavier. That seems like something I really want to try out for myself. The angle has landed. Well, we might not be able to do it with the feather and the rock, but we could do it with a book and a piece of paper. Go on. Okay, hold the book in one hand and the paper in the other at the exact same height and drop them at the same time. You see, the book fell down because it's heavier. Not so fast, oh skeptical one. Put the paper on top of the book and then see what happens. Okay. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. how did that happen? Science. When you put the paper on top of the book, the book blocked the air from hitting the bottom of the paper. This got rid of the air resistance on the paper. Okay, you convinced me, but I still would like to do this on the moon. Anyway, there you guys go. Another cool science mystery solved with the help of experiments. See you guys next time. Bye!